All the techniques uh, in the next couple of minutes are found in Michael Lindenberger's book, Total Workday Control Using Micros of Outlook. Uh, then all, most of the ideas on how to get organized come from David Allen from his book, Getting Things Done. Uh, but Michael Lindenberger has found an awesome way to incorporate that into Microsoft Outlook. And so all of the things that we're about to do are a one-time deal. Some of them get very techy, but don't give up. Uh, you'll be able to make it and do it. And this is just a one-time deal. So just keep on thinking that uh, this is a one-time deal. And after that, after all it's set up on Outlook, then uh, you don't have to worry about changing anything else on your settings on Outlook. So here we go. So we'll start off on our Outlook. The first thing to do, or the first two things to do, have to do with uh, the settings on your actual inbox and tasks. So I'm gonna go here to Tools on Microsoft uh, Outlook, and then I'm going to select Options. Under Options, I'm on the Preferences tab. I'm going to select Email Options. Then once I'm here, I'm going to click on Advanced Email Options. So the first thing that we're doing is we're going to uh, deselect all these check marks. What these what uh, what deselecting these does is that now every time you get an email, you will not hear a little beep and see a little box here on the right side. Uh, you do not want that because that will take you off or your mind into your email that you just received, rather than continuing to focus on your task at hand. And that's why that is done. So now that I have deselected that, I'm going to click OK and click OK. Oops. Then also here on the Preferences tab, I'm going to go to Tasks. I'm going to go to Task Options. And I'm going to deselect Set Reminders on Tasks with Due Dates. And the reason I do that is because uh, with Michael Lindenberger's system, you do, need, do not need reminders because you're going to be sorting your tasks by priority and so the reminders um, do not help plus uh, if you are like me in the past you get you know 500 reminders that something was due and so it just adds stress to your life uh, this system will definitely liberate you from some of that some of that stress so deselect that click ok and then click ok so that's far that's it as far as that goes now i'm going to uh, do more stuff on my tasks so I'm going to go, first of all, I need to see my tasks bar here on the right, and it's not here. So if you see it, you can skip this step. Otherwise, I'm going to go here to where it says View. I'm going to go to To-Do Bar, and I'm going to click Normal. So there's my task bar. Now, this one looks uh, kind of weird right now, but we're going to make it look a lot better. So once you have your task bar, I'm going to right-click uh, anywhere on your titles here at the top. Right-click, Customize Current View. Once I have uh, customized current view, I'm gonna go to fields and there are specific fields that I want on that and uh, I don't want any of these in there so I'm gonna actually click on them and just select remove. And the ones that I do need are um, icon, so I'm gonna go to all task fields and then I need the one that says icon and then I need complete and I need priority and I need subject and I need start date so I have those five yes click OK I'm gonna go to group by and on group by I'm gonna deselect automatically group according to arrangements I wanna group items by priority And I want those in descending order because I want the newer dates at the top, the newer uh, dates that I put on the tasks. So select OK. Now I'm going to go to sort. And then sort, I want to sort by start to date. So I'm going to click on start date, select descending because I want my newer dates at the top. Sorry, on the previous one, it's because I want my high at the top. So there we go. So select OK. Now I'm going to go to Filters. All right. So this is challenging, but I know you can do it. So I'm going to go to Filter. 
And the first filter that I'm going to do is so that you only see certain tasks. I'm going to filter, do this filter so that uh, it ensures that future data tasks are hidden from view so they're not nagging at you of uh, things that you need to do in the future. So I'm going to select advance. You, will, you might see these two in there. You might not. If you do, that's okay. And if you don't, that's fine too. I'm going to go to field. And then under field, I'm going to go to daytime fields go to start date on condition I'm going to select on or before and then on value I'm gonna type in today and then I'm gonna add to list after that the next filter is to remove completed tasks from the list otherwise you would clutter up your list so I'm gonna go to field again under info status I'm going to select status condition list not equal to value completed and I'm gonna add that to list as well the next filter will be done field list then I'm gonna select daytime fields and on that daytime fields I'm going to select start date and condition does not exist. This filter is done to allow tasks to stay in the list even if you forget to set a date, otherwise it would be hard to find. So I'm gonna click on add to list. And then I'm going to click OK. Now I'm going to go to other settings. And in other settings, I'm going to clear the check that says use compact layout and smaller widths and I'm, it should give me just the always use single line layout and that's exactly what I want. Then you want to make sure that these three at the top are selected and they are and then I'm going to click OK. Now on automatic formatting I'm going to click there and I want to remove this red uh, writing. I don't want that to be, you know, telling me that I put in that a while back. And, and even, even if I did with this system, uh, that does not matter. So I'm going to unselect overdue tasks. This will prevent from this from turning red, from the my list to turning red. So I have done that. Now I'm going to click where it says add. And here where it says add I'm simply gonna type in start date today then I'm gonna click on where it says font and this is a new rule and I'm going to select underline and click OK what that does is that any item that you have placed on the list uh, again and this is for the later chapters but once you start assigning dates uh, you will know that any uh, underlined item is an item that has that you have put in specially for that day and again this comes in later chapters of the book but it's good to to have it ready so that you don't have to uh, do it later on um, so once I have done that I'm actually also gonna click right here where it says condition then I'm gonna go to the advanced tab then I'm gonna go to field under the date and time fields I'm going to select start date we're almost done this is the last one then on condition I'm gonna select today and again that's so that it underlines it uh, when you're selecting it I think those are on the part three or part two of the book then I'm gonna click OK do you want to add the criteria you enter below to your search? Sure, say yes, okay, okay, set. And that is it. And that is it as far as a technical part of total workday control using Microsoft Outlook. You did it.